this is BDC and this is TDC and your exhaust valve opens and all the exhaust gas moves out. Simple process, clear? The following video is part of the Dreamer package. In case you find the video helpful and want to watch more such videos like centrifugal pump characteristic curve, what is cavitation, NPSH key points, positive displacement pump, etc. Find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. You can also check out our courses on MerchantNavyDecoded.com. All the content on the Merchant Navy Decoded website aims at helping you get selected in a good shipping company or college, helping you get faster promotions, but most importantly, guide you to earn respect on ship. Jai Mahadi guys! So let's talk about four stroke engines. Four stroke engine means four strokes. Piston coming down, piston going up. Piston coming down, piston going up. What is happening in these strokes? One is suction stroke, one compression stroke, one power stroke, one exhaust stroke. Now guys, when I mean by what I mean by four stroke engine means every four strokes there is going to be one power stroke. So you see, amongst these four strokes there is one power stroke. Like in two stroke engines, every two stroke there has to be one power stroke. Right? So over here, when you take one time piston goes up and comes down, that is one revolution. So over here, one power stroke takes place in two revolutions. Right guys? So you have to remember this. There can be a question they might ask you, okay, tell me what is the relationship between crankshaft and camshaft revolution? There can be a question guys. So please understand. Crankshaft will run as per the strokes. Every two strokes, one cam crankshaft revolution. But camshaft will run as per power stroke. That's the rule you have to remember. So in case of two stroke engines, two strokes, that means one crankshaft rotation, right? But in two stroke engines, you also have got one power stroke, that means one camshaft rotation. So crankshaft and camshaft rotate at same RPM. <coughs> but when I talk about four stroke engines, Crankshaft is having two revolutions, but camshaft is having one revolution. What does that mean? Crankshaft when has two revolutions, camshaft has one revolution. So there might be a gear in between which changes the speed of both. Okay, so over there it will, the ratio will be 2 is to 1. Clear guys? Fine. Again, a bit of example over here. Trying to explain in my best possible way that I can. This is your crankshaft it is rotating this is your crank web guys this is your crank web this is your crank pin this is your connecting rod it is turning over it like this the piston is coming up and down you have got two piston rings in a four stroke engine and one oil scraper ring yes guys you have got a gudgeon pin over here so that the when the connecting rod is moving rotary still the piston moves up and down the lubrication is a very important part out here and the piston moves from TDC to BDC right wrong Abhi jaag jao yaar. get up this is BDC and this is TDC Right guys? So piston moves up and down. Now, this is just a cross section when I am seeing from over here. I can see an inlet wall. I can see an exhaust wall. And I can see a fuel wall fitted over here. So what happens is, the piston say from TDC starts coming down. What will happen? Suction stroke will happen. So your suction valve opens. Right, this is just for the first reference. When I discuss the ball timing diagram, you will get the exact process what happens over here. So just to understand, when the piston starts coming down, you need fresh air inside. So this inlet valve opens and inlet and air comes into the combustion chamber. First row. Now the piston starts moving up in the compression stroke. 
the inlet valve also closes and the exhaust valve also closes why because if both the valves are not closed compression will never take place if any one valve is open because air will release from there so now when it reaches down inlet valve shuts exhaust valve is already shut and when the piston starts going up compression takes place and slowly slowly your temperature in the gas of the gas starts increasing now when the piston reaches up over here say just little bit before tdc injection of fuel oil happens and the moment piston comes around tdc and the rod to come down bam explosion takes place and piston moves zoom down pressure is applied <coughs> transmitted to the connecting rod force is over here a torque is applied and crankshaft rotates so power stroke happens piston comes down fine now what there is all exhaust gas over here you have to remove that now the piston starts going up and your exhaust valve opens and all the exhaust gas moves out simple process clear very good little bit changes are going to bear in the valve timings why there has to be a reason i will discuss later now what is this when you see the cylinder head from top of a generator it is going to look like this it will have a fuel valve in the center sorry i have shown it like this it will be in the center like this it will be over here in the center okay so let me change it so what happens is over here will be your inlet valve and in the center will be your fuel valve okay like this and you can see there are two inlet valves so these two inlet valves are fitted like this and two exhaust valves are fitted like this now i have shown it like this so these both are inlet valves okay fitted now if there are two inlet valves definitely you want these two inlet valves to open together and close together similarly the same way exhaust valves are going to be there and you want them to open like this only now what is this this is your crank shaft right this is abe ja ja yaar this is your cam shaft which is rotating along with the crank shaft right with the gears so this crank shaft cam shaft when rotates this cam moves up and down due to which this tube or this rod will move up and down yes it is called a push rod okay when this moves up now this is fixed when this moves up it will try to move this down when this moves down it presses on the inlet valve over here and moves them down now one more thing these inlet valves are fitted with springs over here so once this comes up and the cam becomes like this this rock push rod comes down over here and this moves up and inlet valve closes Okay, once again, what happens when the cam shaft comes up? This push rod moves up. This is a rocker arm assembly. It brings this downward. When this brings down, if this is pushed downwards, it pushes this inlet valves to open, and then inlet air comes in, and then when by the time it has to close, this cam shaft has rotated in such a way that the cam has moved like this over here. So this would push rod. comes down over here this comes over here and this is not touching any more out here and this inlet valves are closed similarly this happens for the exhaust valves as well so if i talk about a cam shaft now guys i am explaining a four stroke engine cam shaft over here a two stroke engine cam shaft will also be explained out here so see if i have got this cam shaft and this cam shaft has got a gear arrangement 
This gear arrangement is connected to the crankshaft gear arrangement. This is your camshaft and this is your crankshaft. So when crankshaft rotates, it rotates the camshaft. Now this camshaft has got one cam. This cam is fuel cam. What is it doing? This is a fuel cam. On this fuel cam, you got a fuel pump fitted. So this fuel pump moves up and down due to which pressure is created and the fuel nozzle is lifted up and the fuel goes in. Say this happens at approximately 400 bars pressure. So this is developed by this fuel pump fitted on this fuel cam. For every unit, you have got another cam over here. This is for the inlet wall. And also for an exhaust wall. Copy guys. Understood. Achhe se. Now this is very important. Now when I talk about a two-stroke engine, we will have a fuel cam. We will have an exhaust valve cam. But inlet valve is not there. We have got inlet ports. So we will not have this cam. Copy guys. And another thing that you have to remember is when I talk about a two-stroke engine, two-stroke engine are large engines, big engines. Camshaft is somewhere down below over here, crankshaft. And camshaft is somewhere down the line over here. Generators are small. So you put gears, both of them rotate together. But in case of two-stroke engine, if your crankshaft is over here, the gear is over here, your camshaft is up above over here. If you put so much big gears, a lot of efficiency of the engine is going to be lost. So what do you do? Remember your cycle, chain and sprocket arrangement, less weight, still transmission takes place. So in the two stroke engines, there is not a gear arrangement out there. But what we do is, if this is your camshaft and this is your crankshaft down below, rather than putting gears over there, we make chain sprockets and then we put a chain around it, like in cycles. So when your crankshaft rotates, your camshaft also rotates with a lesser weight required and at a larger distance easily with the minimum transmission losses. So that is how crankshaft and camshaft are connected in two stroke engines and that is how they are connected out here in four stroke engines in gear arrangements. Understood guys? But out here yes, when I talk about gears over here, you must remember one thing in four stroke engine there will be one more gear in between which will be a timing gear why because crankshaft is rotating at twice the rpm as that of camshaft right so there needs to be an arrangement which ensures when crankshaft rotates for 2 rpm camshaft rotates for 1 rpm Copy it and in case over here, same RPM in case of two stroke engines. Now, sorry guys, in between while I was talking about four stroke engines, I got carried away with crankshaft and camshaft arrangement. But when I was talking about camshaft, I thought I'll explain it over here only. Okay, now let's come back again to the point and let's discuss the ball timing diagram along with it. Okay. If you found the video helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To watch more such technical videos, click on the playlist given on the screen and find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. Thank you.